Welcome back everybody, Twitch367 here, and today we're going to continue with episode 5 of our Assassin's Creed Valhalla series here on the channel. Once again, if you guys want to interact with me or the rest of the Discord community, uh, go ahead and click on the link down in the description. While you're down there, take a peek at all the other social media links, including the 10% off W link. Helps me out, helps out the company, and it's just a great thing to do. So, here we are. Um... Last episode, we got our hidden blade, practiced with it. Uh, Sigurd also returned home. That's how we got the blade. Um, pretty much, we were told to meet him back at the docks in the morning. And it's morning now. When we woke up, there was uh, some of the opposing crew. Um, so we went and killed them, and now we're... Oh, well, we gotta go tell Sigurd. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. Gods, Eivor, what happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Northfall, that whaling village under Kyoto's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyoto learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son to the same storm that follows you. All right, so let's go pillage. To the wings. Up the sail, warriors. Thringi. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtve's end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love. In this glorious fight, today we seize Nuffal from Kjotve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Bukist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Hey, Ward. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevian did not trust fate with both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. All right, we're getting very close. <clears throat> Get ready! 
All right, so grab the torch. Grab some arrows. All right, let's revive now. Alright, there's one over here. Let's go get that one. Alright, this whole area is gonna start exploding. Yes, they are. Looks like somebody's down, too. Right, I want to go figure out whatever this is real quick.
grab some arrows. Arrows are never a bad thing to have. some like food Hail Raven Clan You reap a bloody harvest Who are you Gester Name yourself I know his face he met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorn, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. To the canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your raven clan can take Kurtwe's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help. But I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotwe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotwe and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstaldir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Flor, near the mouth nice. of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor, give us a hand. Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. So Sigurd's up there. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kjotve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We 
We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kyrthe at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyrthe robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyrthe should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work and scold sharp scissors and cut short the cord of Kyotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Vazen, Ivan. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. ...but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Python, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kyotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. I was gonna say, I'm doing it. He can back off. to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg as your father begged Wolfkist. <laughs> Squeal as your mother squealed. Alright. You destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. Alright, I need to lock on to him sooner. My blade will drink your blood! Your flesh will be my wolves!
Come on. Now we're in a pit. All right, let's try this again. All right, now he's dead. Wow. I fought as I did, 
as hard as I did to survive. For I know what awaits us in the end. Only darkness. <laughs> Clan, your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorim. His debt repay. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no Okay, mercy. so we are not done. Okay, I need to get this gate open. Come on, get away from the edge. I don't want to knock you down. Let's open it up. Into the church, got it. So this is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode. I don't need to follow you.
All right, let's go get Gorm. A blind pursuit of vengeance has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Oh, I gotta go up. The coward gone, please. His father dies twice today. think of the traction they had on their shoes to be able to stand like that all right well that is all the time we had for this episode if you guys did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment subscribe if you have not already um we took on Kyoto, so next episode we'll kind of see where we go next uh you guys have a good one see ya